There's a tendency in the current immigration debate, and it's it, it's visible on the comment sections of these videos, um, to suggest that the rhetoric is, oh, uh, if you're supporting immigrants, or if you're if you're putting forward an argument that isn't in line with the government's aggressive policies about immigration, then you're not supporting the homeless, and you're and, and it, it's immigrants or the homeless. It, it it's an absurd, it's an absurd um, charge and, uh, and and an absurd piece of an absurd rhetorical flourish. And so I'm I'm pleased to note the um, the story of uh, David Davis and. Um, and and Guta Hari, uh, both of them coming to the aid of a homeless person who was being attacked, and 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 of course, you know they did exactly what any normal person would do, uh, and they stood up to the attackers. I'm not suggesting for one minute that one should intervene all the time, but there are times, you know, you can't walk on the other side of the street. And our society has got to a point where it's become vicious. Now, that may be something that's been encouraged by the rhetoric of foolish politicians, but it's not something that they have started. It's already there in our society, and well, maybe they fanned the flames a little. So I am, I, I am immensely proud of David Davis um, for his actions, for uh, risking his own safety to step in. And he, he says it was very quick. Um, it, it was messy, he says, but he's all right. He's still alive, and that's the important thing. And what we need to do, we, we need to recognise if, if this government is prepared to spend £8 million housing people it doesn't need to house, housing people who could quite easily and quite competently get on with a job. Many of them are getting on with jobs. They're part of the black economy because they're desperate to find use and value. I, I'm not surprised that, that there, are, there are people who are moonlighting, delivering supplies for, for, for this organisation, for that organisation. This is a... This is a charter for dodginess because it's not it's not realistic to leave people in limbo for three years or more in hotels and cheap hotels at that and at the moment you know you've got temperatures falling dramatically and people are homeless and people are in need of shelter and we should be using some of this hotel space to put up people who are homeless. We should get people moving from these backlogs and the space that is then made available while the government is still paying these ridiculous contracts, tied up in these contracts to cheap hoteliers. We should use those rooms to good effect. But, you know, I think it's also important, mindful of that advert, a dog is not just for Christmas, nor is a homeless person. A homeless, there are homeless people all the way through the year, and we need to find a solution to this. And this is partly about dealing with mental health. It's partly about dealing with poverty. It's partly about dealing with despair and with um, the... The, the, the problems of our rat race. We are in such a go-getting society at the moment and our worth is measured by the latest mobile phone and by our squalid ambitions. And there are some things which are more important. The person who is being attacked, the person who is being uh, pilloried on the side of the street simply because of their 
their chances in society simply because of their culture, their background, um, their language. And we've become a very judgmental society and that needs to change. And it starts by better leadership. It starts by a leadership that is not focused solely on the most vulnerable in our society. Because that lead is picked up by people in the street. It's picked up by the mob. And as I say, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of Mr. Davis.